Hey Avi, welcome back to Arts and Crafts. If you don't know me, I'm Justina, the Arts and Crafts Coordinator this year, and today we'll be making bird feeders. So in order to get started today, you're going to need empty washed and dried cartons. So I personally am using a juice box and an almond milk carton. Next, you're gonna need paint. I'm gonna be using acrylic paint because I think it would stay best on this type of material. It also dries very fast, but I think you could use any paint that works for you as long as it's not watercolor because it won't cover what's already written on the juice boxes. You're gonna need brushes to paint whatever design you wanna make your bird feeders, water and paper towels to wash those brushes as you transfer colors, a nail, string or yarn, something that you're gonna be able to hang your bird feeder with, scissors and or a box cutter. So. This is my box cutter, it is very sharp, so if you don't have one or you don't feel comfortable using one, you could always use scissors, I'll show you how to do both. And last, bird seeds. So in order to get started, you're going to take a Sharpie and just draw a rectangle that you're gonna cut out on each side of the carton. So once those rectangles are drawn out on each side, you're gonna take your box cutter or scissors and just carve in to the carton so that you could cut that part. something that looks like this and if you just want to make it perfect you could even it all out with a scissor and make sure that your cuts are perfectly straight So if you don't feel comfortable using a box cutter or you're not allowed to use something this pointy, feel free to use scissors. The best way to use scissors is to make sure your milk carton is flat and then to cut a slit like this into the side of it. So take your scissors, just cut that slit and then that way when you fold it back down, it's easy to cut out your rectangle. do the same thing on the other side so now once those two sides are done what you could do is just open up your scissors and go in one of the sides to poke a hole out of one of the closed sides and once you have that hole you could do the same thing and just cut from there So now we have them both cut open and what we're gonna do is place them down on newspaper or a surface that you don't mind getting dirty and you're going to paint your bird feeders. You could do any design you'd like. You could do solid colors, you could do polka dots, you could make a drawing. If you are gonna do something a little bit more complex, then you might not wanna cut as big rectangles so that you have more space to paint a design. Something to also be mindful of is, as you can see here, I left a lot more space on the almond milk carton than I did on the juice carton. And so that just means that I'll be able to put a lot more bird seeds in this one than I will be able to in the juice one. However, if you did already cut it too low, all you have to do is put a little bowl or cup full of bird seeds in the center. That way it still holds. So something you might want to keep in mind is what color you're making your bird feeder if you want to attract a specific type of bird. So I know that red, pink, and orange attract hummingbirds. Yellow attracts goldfinches and hummingbirds. Blue attracts bluebirds and jays. And red and greens attract cardinals. So I'll be coloring mine green and red and you could either follow along or pick your own colors and designs. So it's totally up to you and you could design it as you please.
what my final product looks like after I painted it. I did a sun and flowers, a geometric design, a bird design, and just a colorful squiggly line design. So once you've completed your design, what you're going to do is take a nail and you're going to twist it into each side of your carton in order to create a hole on each side. So there's my hole on this side, and then I'm just gonna make one on this side. You've created your two holes. You could put yarn through it or anything that will hold your bird feeder up with a knot. And once that's complete, you could either fill your bird feeder up with bird food if you left enough space to, and if you didn't, which on this carton I did not, you could put either a cup or a little bowl of bird food inside and hang it somewhere in your yard. So I hope you guys enjoyed this craft and please, please, please remember to take pictures because I'd love to see how yours came out. And once you do that, send them to james at avcamp.org and make sure that you title your subject a and C underscore and the activity name. So today would be A and C underscore bird feeders. I'm actually going to insert some images of people who did that for last week's craft right here. Those were awesome. So send yours in and who knows, maybe you'll be featured in next week's video.